In 1845, as the debt threatened to swamp the Northampton Association of Education and Industry, they put together a plan whereby their president, George W. Benson, would become the president of a company backed by evangelical, orthodox, Liberty Party abolitionists from Northampton and Haydenville. They sold off 100 acres of land, including the silk mill, converted it to cotton manufacture, and laid out Bensonville Village lots. We now know that we have three houses remaining that were formerly homes of fugitive slaves. And the one behind me is perhaps the most important. It is now on the National Register of Historic Places, also on the National Underground Railroad Network to Freedom of the National Park Service. This is the home of Basil Dorsey. Basil Dorsey was a fugitive slave from Liberty, Maryland, who escaped in 1836, traveled over the border to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, and then moved along eastward and was captured and put on trial in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Robert Purvis, one of the great African-American agents of the Underground Railroad in Philadelphia, took a special interest in the case, arranged for good lawyers. They actually got him off because the prosecution lawyer was so bad that he couldn't prove to the judge sufficiently that slavery was the law of the land in Maryland because he couldn't produce the proper documents. He went to New York City and was helped there by Joshua Levitt, one of the leaders of the uh, evangelical wing of abolition, and David Ruggles, who was one of the chief Underground Railroad agents in New York at the time. One of the great things, great historical documents we have is the census of 1850 taken here in August. Only one month before the Fugitive Slave Act of 1850 more than doubled the penalties for helping fugitive slaves. Florence, as it turns out, and you can kind of find where Florence was in the Northampton census, it was about 600 people. And of that 600 people, there were around 60 African Americans. So that Florence was 10% African American as of 1850. And that really shows the activity of David Ruggles, an Underground Railroad agent, but also these people at the Bensonville Manufacturing Company. George W. Benson and J.P. Williston were two of the most active underground railroad agents in our area, especially Williston, who would send fugitive slaves from the main route up the Connecticut River up here to Florence to work in his factory and find a home. 